competitive Pokemon lore. In Generation 8, the introduction of Dynamax caused the power gap between strong and weak Pokemon to widen significantly, but a particular set of Pokemon managed to jump that gap and end up becoming major threats in PGC. This group of Pokemon were the Pokemon with access to the ability Hustle. While Hustle has always been a good ability, the Pokemon were very rarely chosen to be on a VGC team for one simple reason. Hustle is an ability that gives the Pokemon a 50% boost in power to their physical attacks, but this comes at the cost of reducing the accuracy of these moves to 80% of their original accuracy. So moves like Iron Head become 80 accuracy, and less accurate moves like Rock Slide become 72 accuracy. VGC players, for the sake of consistency, wouldn't enjoy using these Pokemon due to their shaky ability to actually land their moves, so they tend to pass up on Hustle as an ability altogether. How did Dynamax change that? Well, Dynamax moves actually bypass all accuracy checks, meaning that if a Pokemon with Hustle were to Dynamax, they'd have access to some of the most powerful moves in game. This allowed Durant, a Pokemon not known for its strength in VGC, to become one of the most threatening Pokemon in early 2020. Due to the limited dex, its 109 base speed allowed it to outspeed most of what threatened it with assistance from something like Tailwind Whimsicott. Beyond that, its physical move pool is actually super diverse and allows it to use things like Max Rockfall, Max Lightning, Max Quake, and of course Max Steel Spike and Flutterby. Access to these moves allowed it to beat things that it usually wouldn't be able to, most notably Charizard, which only had 100 base speed and was a major threat in early 2020. Durant even won the Collinsville Regional on Andrew Ding's team, where it was paired with Agathatel, another one of its notorious partners that would take advantage of a poor lead on Durant and exploit it by not allowing the opponent to switch as long as Gothitel was on the field. This was, and likely will be, the only time Durant was ever a top tier threat in BGC. If you learn anything new, be sure to subscribe and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.